So these are some of the ingredients we will be using today. We have uh, chopped garlic, thyme, shallots, some parsley, some green beans. Yeah, I clean all these off by the way. Some lemon, olives. We have some couscous. The food's so nice, they named it twice. Say what's up. So I will be chopping three shallots, but um, we'll see how much two yields, and then uh, if not enough, we'll add the third one. Try to keep the scraps. You can use it for some stock or whatever else you want to use for it. This should be more than enough right here. One of these should be good right here. We're not making too much. We're gonna, we're gonna take the garlic and shallots. Have a pot getting hot over here. Got some hot water here. We're gonna use that to blanch off the uh, the green beans once we get to that part. Uh, add, make sure you add salt to the water, by the way, so you get a little bit of flavor in the green beans. We'll add a little butter. Let that start up. Make sure the pan not too hot. If the pan's too hot, the butter will be too cold. I just want the aromatics here to open up a little bit. You don't want to brown them up like that. Add some chicken stock. Add about, about like four cups right there of chicken stock. Bring that to a boil. Once we got, if you have saffron, add saffron. I would use saffron. Pretty expensive right there. Not necessary. Got like a teaspoon. A little bit of salt and pepper. Get some flavor. Now the saffron is going to turn it a little bit red. Just need to add a little more. Alright, that's about another one. Taste this, it looks about ready. We're gonna taste to see how it is. The water back there is boiling ready for the So we're gonna taste this and see how it is. Look like it's about ready. We want it out there to remember and the water back there is uh boiling. So we're gonna um get the green leaf going. All we're gonna do is just strain the um what you wanna do is strain the liquid off the couscous. That's up next. Not really much excess liquid, but that means I add the right amount. So if you do have excess liquid, just strain it right off. You got the sheet tray, so let it cool off. That's gonna be a nice, even, flat. So it cools off evenly, it doesn't continue to cook. That's like that. And you have it. You got some saffron. What I'm, what I'm doing right now is cutting the ends off the green beans, as you can see. Green beans ready to go, hot water ready. Go right in there. That should be good right there. I'm 